All right, we got our base ready to go. I just got a alcohol fuel bottle in there, and I'm just gonna pack around that, get my two inches in, and then I'll pull that fuel bottle out and put my canister tube in here. Got my hole drilled for my <coughs> pipe, as well as my hole drilled for my pipe in there. The base is the uh, piece that we are cutting on the CNC router. A piece of those little shavings and metal in there from when I drilled that hole out. Don't need them getting stuck in there. It doesn't really matter, I guess. And then I have one on the top here as well, if you can see that. My CNC router does a uh, just under 7 inches. So I had to uh, do 7 I had to do that size, and then if you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a tape around the edge of that. I had to fill the rest of it in with tape just to get it to work because I uh, ran out of room on my CNC router. It's a six and three quarter inch by eight inch. It's the very maximum it'll do. So I was just about to hit the wall, and it wasn't working out really well. I was like getting nervous. Anyways, it's in there. I'm pretty well. I got a little bit of bulge right in here, but as long as it's at the top, I feel pretty safe about it. We'll see. So, we're going to start packing the bottom in. Get to two inches deep. We'll hit it with some CO2, <coughs> harden it, and then we'll pull the bottle out, and then we'll slap this down on top of that, and we'll start packing around that once we put the pipe in. And I don't know if I should hit it with some CO2 every layer, or if I need to hit it all at the end. I'm not really sure. So, we'll see. We're going to take some pictures as we go. Alright, so I've added uh, my perlite and about half of this bucket. I've got about maybe a little, little less of it, maybe a third. <coughs> and I put about, I'd say, that much in there. And here's, I've mixed it together pretty good. And let me show you why I think it's ready. I'm not really sure, I just why I think it's ready. So, if I make a ball of this stuff, it kind of stays together and breaks apart like that. So that's why I think it's ready to go. I have no idea how much mixture is to what the mixture is. But that's what I'm going to go by. I'm going to pack this in there and I'm going to do batches that small and just keep packing them in like that. So that's my first batch going in. Alright, so I've got it in here and I'm just gently packing it down this first round because, well, there's not much to pack in there. I don't even know if I'm getting it to stay. I might just be doing it with my hand. Every time I pack it, it just moves around on me. It's just moving around. So I get more in there. It's not really going to pack down. But I'm below that first rim still. And I definitely need to be at least two more batches just for the base. At least. bottom of my can is a little flexible. I don't like that. Makes it hard to pack. Okay. First batch in. Shouldn't be in my dress clothes. Oh well. Mix in the next batch. Alright, there's my first layer. And uh, I'm not sure what to do at this point. I think I might have to call it for the night and uh, make more sodium silicate, I'm afraid, because just to get the bottom in, I went through that much. I don't think that that much for the sides is going to get me through all the sides. I'm not sure if I should start the sides <coughs> or wait until it's I'm ready to go all at once. I think I just want to go any further. This is pretty hard. I mean, packed in pretty good. There's some loose gravel in there. Um, I'm going to run the CO2 and spray it in, and I think that'll help lock it in place. But I haven't thought that through 100%. <coughs> so I'm thinking it through right now. But if I want to find a way to get the CO2 down into it. So I'm looking for a little pipe right now. Let me find that, and I'll get right back to you. Alright, my method of trying to inject the CO2, I don't know what it did, but basically just a hose on a CO2 tank. Um, 
I don't. I couldn't get down in there. I didn't find a, a tube. Every time I push a tube down in there, it would clog the tube. So I just opened it up a little bit. And I don't know what you guys know about CO2, but CO2 is heavier than oxygen. So basically, the CO2 will settle in there and not come out because it's heavier than oxygen. So that's full of CO2 among the rest of my basement as well, so i got to be careful. Because it just places oxygen, and if you put too much in a room, small room, obviously there's no oxygen left to breathe. And you don't even notice it because you can breathe in and out the CO2 and you'd never even notice it. It's going in and out until you start to starve for oxygen. So I don't know if that's going to cause it to harden or not. I gotta believe it's not because I still feel like it's pretty soft. But that was the gist of how that stuff worked. It's supposed to CO2 and it's supposed to. Maybe it's not CO2. I thought it was. CO2 is carbon dioxide. I'm hoping that's the right stuff. Otherwise, I'm just wasting a lot of CO2. So, <coughs> anyways, I'm gonna turn this on low and expose it just a little more. Try and get it to go through it a little bit, maybe. Force it through the rock some. All I'm doing by that is causing it to come out the back. Oh, no, it's coming out still. I don't have much on it. Let me open it just a hair more. Oh, way to go. I've clogged my tip up now. I'm getting the hell out of there that way. <coughs> Actually, I'm out of CO2. How about that? So, yeah, we're done for the night. I gotta get more CO2. Felt heavier than it was. So, <coughs> close it off. And uh, we'll let the uh, CO2 in the air. Do the rest of it. But that's all we're doing for tonight. Because we're out of CO2. And I don't believe I have enough of this. I've got more lye coming in so I can make more of it. But it's in the mail and it takes a long time to ship apparently. I don't know. We'll see when it gets here. Alright, that's all we can do for tonight. Tomorrow we'll add the cylinder. And uh, if we get enough stuff made in time. If not, it won't be until uh, Thursday.